Hey everyone, we're in the greenhouse today and I just wanted to show you our super fancy germination chamber that cost us, I don't know, a couple of sheets of plywood worth of uh, monies and that's about it. So I'm just going to show you here real quick, it's right behind me. So um, I just had some old greenhouse plastic that we used to cover the front and then that are two super expensive quilts that we got. Uh, are there are old quilts from the old beds or some thrift store? I don't even know. Okay, so we put that up. And then there's another piece of greenhouse plastic underneath that. Okay, and this is it. So it's nothing super fancy. But it definitely does the trick for us and it germinates all the seeds we need uh, through the spring months. So as you can tell, it's just a big plywood box. Here, I'll bring the camera over. And it's, like I said, it's nothing fancy at all. So it's just a plywood box and on the inside here is where we keep all of the trays. So we've got these slats here that we put in um, so we can adjust the height to the heights of the trays. So you can see here we've got six trays up here. These ones here, we've got a shelf in, and these slats we just cut from old uh, skids. So they cost us zero dollars. And then here, um, same thing, these just move up and down. So sometimes we have trays that are thinner so we can put an extra layer of trays in here. And sometimes they are uh, further apart depending on how how thick the trays are so we can get like four inch pots in there or five inch pots or whatever we're germinating but usually we germinate in these flats here so they're pretty shallow and um, yeah in the center here we've got a fancy dancy crock pot so I had an old crock pot I got an instant pot for Christmas and so I just stuck this crock pot, out, uh, crock pot out here. It's on high and it runs all the time. I fill it about once a day with water. You can see I have to fill it now. And there's some calcium buildup on the outside, but that's about it. And then I'll just show you some plants here that are germinating. So I put these in March uh, 30th, so four days ago. And you can see they're already up. So these guys have to come out today. Otherwise they're gonna start, you can see they're starting to reach for the light. But yeah, super simple. We've got it insulated um, on the outside edges. There's just some old insulation we had and then some more old greenhouse plastic. Same with at the back there. And then at the bottom is where we keep all the extra slats and uh, we spray foam there around the outside as well. But we just look like a little speed of spray foam. So nothing super fancy. And yeah, it does really well even when it's not heated in the greenhouse so when it's we don't have any heat on we can keep the germination chamber around 20 25 degrees um, all night and you can see here i've got uh, my thermometer so this thermometer here and humidity readers is reading uh 28 degrees right now so it's perfect especially for peppers and you can see that it's quite humid which is nice too because we don't have to water the plants while they're in the germination chamber so that's it super basic and uh just took some time to put together but does everything we need and we can germinate up to 40 trays in here at the same time so it we can put through quite a few trays in a small space and uh, we just used an eight uh, four by eight sheet for the back. It's not quite four feet high, but um, yeah, it's just two, three sheets of plywood and the rest is just basically scrap wood and some good old-fashioned elbow grease. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any questions. Cheers!